Hello there, it's your favorite Uncle Josh, and we are back with Hawkeye episode three, shall we? Yes, y'all, I'm going to be reviewing till I can't review no more. So let's get into it, shall we? So we open up with uh, the girl we left off last time. Her name is Maya. We find out that Maya is deaf, y'all, and she can't hear. So we're getting like somewhat of a montage, but there's still a scene of her life. I guess she's one of the villains that they have to fight. So, yeah, that's it. And now we're at present day. So now we're at a scene. Let me take this back. So you remember how the Ronin, which was Hawkeye, when his family got blipped, he went around killing bad guys, people who were doing bad things. Well, one of those bad guys just so happened to be Maya's dad. Because we get to a scene where she he's just killing everybody he see. Everybody he see gone. Everybody he see gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. They gotta go, they gotta go, they gotta go. And at the end, they won't have to go right now. So that's what happened. So now Maya's set on revenge f to avenge her father because he was one of the bad people that got killed by Ronan, a.k.a. Hawkeye. So now we're back, y'all, in present day. And they got Hawkeye and Hawkeye, Kate Bishop, Young Avengers 1. They got them right in the uh, little kid things that you see at, like, the store as punishment. They've been doing that all night. And Kate gave the one bad guy advice, and Hawkeye's really over it. So we're back with Maya, and Maya told Clint, you rely too much on technology, because first she thought he was deaf, but it's actually hard of hearing. So she told him, you need to get rid of that. You would actually do much better if you did, but he's like, no, which I understand. So we're there, and then Maya's trying, and then he just was like, okay. She asked Clint what happened to the Ronin. He's dead, Clint said. And then they're like, well, who killed him? They're like, the Black Widow, baby. You know, like, you know, no Iggy, no Rita, but you know the Black Widow. And Clint, and she's like, well, how convenient. She's like, it's not her. It's dead. Just let us go because she has her vengeance. Then Clint is My scared. whole question is, well, what was the dad doing? Because he was only killing folk that were doing bad things. So like a Robin Hood. Was only killing folks that was doing bad things. So what did the dad do? Who was the dad working for? Was it was it Kingpin, y'all? Because I, you know, you know, so was it was Kingpin, y'all. Was he doing the same thing? He was doing something bad in order to get killed by the Ronin. Just saying. So look at the cool fight action scene that happened. Thank God this kind of happened like in the middle ish in the beginning, y'all. Y'all know what I mean. So thank God again. So here's what happened. So my so Clint got free, and then you know he started beating people up. Maya, they start to fight. Maya makes sure to smash his hearing aid because, like she said, Clint will do better without it. And she meant that. So then now they're fighting. Clint got his bow and arrow, and you know he went to Hawkeye. He went to Hawkeye. Did you know his brother's actually a hot shot? Hot, a Hawkeye, I think it's called Kill Shot or Slingshot. One of those things. Kill Shot, I forgot. He's a Dark Adventures. He's the evil version. But anyway, back to our regularly scheduled program. So they begin to fight. Kate ends up getting free because Hawkeye shot an arrow through her tape. And then, you know, she ends up beating up this one guy. Clint ends up shooting people with arrows more than the law should allow. This scene was actually good. I like it. I like the pacing of this. This is like a good pace show. And I like the fact that it's six episodes. Marvel don't be playing that whole 10, 15, 20 episodes. Like, they're, they're like, mm -mm, we don't believe in that dang scripture. First off, we ain't got the money for all that. Second of all, even if we did, we wouldn't spend it on that. So I like it. I like it. This actually would have been, actually would have made like a cute little movie. If they would have did this like as a movie, that would have been good. So we get a scene where... You know, they just kind of saved the day. They were fighting each. They were fighting the bad guys. I like the fact that when the uh, who was a Hawkeye told Kate Bishop, you need because they're both Hawkeye. Really, I at the end of the day, Clint told Kate Bishop that you aim high, aim low. When it comes to this arrow, this arrow became a big gi giant, massive arrow and and stopped the people in their tracks. And they end up flying away in this cool action shot where Hawkeye, you know, shoots the arrow. The wire comes out, and, you know, they end up getting onto the subway. I like the fact that she had no idea what his trick shot arrows were, so she was just randomly shooting because she just didn't know because they weren't regular arrows. So always remember, class, always remember people in life that sometimes you got to shoot arrows even if you don't know what they do. Clint's not used to life without his hearing aid, so he's having issues adjusting. Meanwhile, across town, shout out to Alexander Rogers, we now have um, the gang people with Maya and all of them scared. 
because Maya's kind of doing the most. And in this business, you have to be doing the least. So there's breakfast, and as they're traveling, they, um, Clint tells Kate that there's actually somebody higher up than Maya on this list, and that's something that they got to beware. Kate's like, Jack has something to do with this because it's not a coincidence that the same butterscotch that she saw at her mom's house was the same one that he was offered. She knows he's behind this. She just can't figure it out. So now they're on their way to the mom's penthouse to break into it to get information on Jack and the sweatpants, the people that wear track suits and rob people. I don't know why. Y'all, why y'all wearing track suits? I mean, I love me a good track suit, but we wearing this. This is the uniform. I actually wouldn't be mad to be wearing a tracksuit for work. I'm just being honest. I wouldn't. And the episode ends with Jack holding a sword, a Ronin sword, to Clint's neck. Yeah, y'all. It's getting good. It's getting good. I like the pacing. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Come back. Hey.